His name is Polly. Ah, Polly Poo. All right. This is his channel. See what he do. All right. Time off, market. You've got to bloody love it. Now then, it's somewhat overpriced on a lot of stuff. Like, uh, I mean. The first sort of stalls I saw, I mean, they were wanting like three and four pound for like battered, battered figures. Like, not even rare figures, just normal figures, ridiculous prices. But uh, the first thing I picked up was for fellow trade member, trade alliance member, and our leader, fearless leader, Black Rabbit 3333. And I've picked him up, this care bear. Now, Black Rabbit collects these. Uh, they are pretty cool, like, kind of articulated. Uh, care bears, I guess. <laughs> He's even got a little red heart on his arse. And that one's um, Sleepy Bear, is it? That one? With the moon and the star kind of thingy on it. Oh, I was thinking, thinking. We'll come back to that one. It's the one I always make. Ah, right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now I have guilt. Right, anyway, so the, the guy I bought this from had like some stuff for silly money. Uh, he had a transformer there, which. I dare say it probably was a fairly rare one, kind of some a Megatron electronic thing. And he wanted like 15 quid for it, and it was just like, no, you're alright. But he did have a few sort of random bags, and this one was like £1.50, and it's got uh, 14 figures in there, so that's just over 10 pence each. And I might as well just pop it open and show you who's in there, just, just for the hell of it. So the likes of uh, Lex Luger, uh, that can go to Ivan. Because I've got him already. I don't have the job squad Bob Holly, so that's fantastic. Uh, it's an upgrade on my um, blah blah. What do you call him? Dilo Brown, because mine's got a few fingers missing, so that's an upgrade on that. This is an upgrade on me Goldberg, as mine doesn't have the knee pads or elbow pads on that one. So again, that's an upgrade. The ref, I've got this ref, so you know he can always come in handy for anybody who needs a ref. Now, Rabbit, do you have the Buzzworkers? I think you do, uh, but if you don't, obviously you can have him. If you do have him, there is no, and I'll stick it in Ivan's box. Same goes for the Ultimate Warrior. Ra, 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 ra. <laughs> the Narcoleptic Warrior. And then there was this whole bunch of little figures in the bottom. Uh, little CM Punk, which I think I might have that one, I'll have to double check. I do think I have this gold dust, but not the hair, so again, that's pretty cool. I do have one of the uh, headbangers, but again, which one, God knows, I'll have to check and see if that's the one that I need. Rio Mysterio, Shawn Michaels, Bang Bang, Cactus Jack, cool, this one's awesome. And finally, it's Sunny. Oh yes, this, I was, it was almost worth it. Almost worth paying £1.50 for this chickity boo. So that was kind of the first stall I went to. And then, like I say, there was loads of stuff I was just like, no, nah, there, was, there was just ridiculous prices on stuff. And then I found uh, somebody selling toys, and not only were they selling toys, they were selling vintage Star Wars toys. So I got myself a snow trooper for £2, which yeah, I didn't really want to pay £2 for them, but I figured, you know, £2 about as much as I want to pay for stuff like that. Uh, as I had intended originally to go, because there's normally a guy who's like the Star Wars guy and he usually has loads of Star Wars stuff there, but it's been a couple of years since I've been. So lo and behold, the time I go, he's not bloody there, is he? So the only figure I got that I need for my Star Wars collection is this uh, droid 2B1B, not 2B12B. And as you can see, he's missing his microphone. So, uh, but I do have his, his flute thing, so obviously if he does a gig anywhere, he'll just have to do it acoustically. But I don't mind that he's missing it, because it does kind of make him look as if he's kind of uh, that Edward, Edward Monk, the, the scream sort of thing. <laughs> uh, so he was there, he's not bad, Nick, he was a quid. And he also had some vintage other figures, so I picked up a couple of these, as I am army building these guys. And I think I nearly have as many of these as I have stormtroopers, so I kind of have more chiefs than I've got Indians at the minute. But uh, like any council, I suppose, it, uh, that's kind of the way they tend to work it, isn't it? And then this guy was a pound, uh, I nearly didn't pick him up. And then I kind of thought about it and thought, nah, for a quid I'm getting them. 
uh, <laughs> I'm not a hundred percent. In fact, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know who it is. Um, but I mean, you know, when this guy fell out of the ugly tree, he didn't half hit every branch on the way coming down. I mean, his head looks like a root vegetable. I mean, the poor lad. Bless. So obviously, Star Wars guys, who is this? Who oh, well. are? He's a nosy boy, he's a nosy guy. Right, so anyway, so I did come across a guy and he had a good bucket, and I do mean like, it was more like a trailer from a car, <laughs> kind of full of toys. And most. Was the top box. It was the top box, there you go. It was the top box of a car. Um, full of stuff. And most of them were battered and no good, but I did pick out the best stuff that was there. And. He was telling everybody, oh, that one's 50 pence, that one's 50 pence. So I kind of grabbed a load of stuff and he was like, oh, well, they're from 50 pence. And I was like, no, 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 no. I thought they were all 50 pence. And obviously because I had a big stack of stuff, it was a case of, well, did he want to just lose a big seal over that? So he, he backed down and I got them all for 50p. So everything that's coming into your screens now cost us 50 pence each. So we'll start off with Mr. Horsey Man. I believe this is from the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and he's one of them centaurs, senators, or something like that. Mm. Um, no weapon like, but you know. And then this little foot soldier, this guy's awesome. So I'm kind of looking forward to putting him with me, the foot soldiers, and having the foot soldier junior. Uh, 1988 Wily e. Coyote, bendable kind of figury roo, figury do, figure -ro -ro -ro. Reboot, when they did the reboot of Reboot, when it was kind of 15 years on and uh, Enzo was all grown up and his girlfriend was all grown up too. And this is her, so she's rather nice. Don't see many of them kicking about. And then we have Ling, Ling Zayu. Uh, her hair's missing, but uh, you know, she's just could pretend she's had a cut really, couldn't you? Or well, the pandas chewed it off. So she was there. Taking awesome. Awesome game Tekken is like. And then here's a Lord of the Rings figure I don't have. It's one of the elves. And as you can see, he has a the kind of I'm playing the world's uh, most invisible violin action feature there. Blink, 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 blink. It's kind of <laughs> authentic violin noises to blink, blink, blink. Yes, that's what they sound like. And then from the movie, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles newest CGI movie, the one of the bad guys. So he was there, so he was swiftly swiped up, and uh, this guy, I have no idea why I picked up, he just, I don't even know what he's off, if he's off anything, or just some kind of cheap knockoff thing, but uh, yeah, he kind of looks alright, I suppose, with his Magnum T ear moustache. And then Luke, Luke, Mr. Action Jackman. Now then I'll be seeing you shortly, my rat, but there was a few bits and pieces that I don't know if you've got, so either just see it, I or no, if you watch this, or I'll just stick them in my pocket, and then you can either attack them or leave them when I say yeah. So here's Gimli the Dwarf. We have, uh, is it Raggy? Raggedy? Raggy? <laughs> Raggy. I'm a Raggy! Uh, from Pirates of the Caribbean. And Davy Jones. I'm Davy Jones. Captain Balbosa, who looks kind of a bit like Billy Connolly. Okay, the new Billy Wee, I like to drive ships. Drive ships? <laughs> drive them. Uh, put some wheels on that boat, boy. I'll take it for a stroll. And then I got this bike of mice from Mars. Bike of mice from Mars. The guy, the fat guy with no head, or his head, like its head's there, obviously, Clayton's his head, but the fake head that goes over the top, not there. Uh, this is Pirates of the Caribbean, I don't have this one, so I'm keeping this one, this is the gold. I made a gold, yes, Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh, what a nasty smelting accident. They call me gold, I like gold, yeah. That's a keeper. And again, Robert, there you go, you have yourself a, um, oh, knack, knackers, knackers yards. Uh, oh, God, man. You call them. I, I knew before I did this video I was looking for other stuff going, oh that's one of them. G and Ocean, there you go. A G and Ocean fella. And then this guy from Monkeys in Space. Now I've got this guy but I don't have his uh, belt nor his kind of big clumpy ratchet. What do you call him? 
<laughs> I'll just ask Handy Money. Clamp. Oh, man, that's an adjustable wrench, that's what it is. Oh, man, well, I went to, went to, adjustable wrench, oh. And Star Wars, we have ourselves this really cool Boba Fett. Uh, so he was obviously in there too, so he got snapped up. And then the last couple of bits and pieces was this uh, ghost Playmobil figure, glow in the dark one, and then these two, I believe the Dragon Ball Z, these ones. But uh, they're like 1989 type. So <laughs> look at this guy. That guy's awesome. Yeah! I'm awesome! Oh yeah! So that was, I got off that guy. So, I went back round again to the place where I got the, uh, no, I haven't shown them yet. Have I showed them? The Star Wars? Yes, I <laughs> did show them, my God. The Star Wars figures, I went back round and I kind of was just having a look on the table again to see what bits and pieces they had. And I kind of noticed uh, underneath the table, kind of tucked away, like, in the car, <laughs> there was a box that had 50p kind of thing. And I was going like, oh, hey, what's the crap with the 50 pence box like? Can I have a look type of thing? Expecting them to sort of turn on and say, uh, no, like, stop being nebby, get away type of thing. And they went, aye, we aye. So, obviously, I dragged it out. And it was, you know, I would say maybe shoebox size, big shoebox. And it had quite a few interesting bits and pieces. So I shall just skip these to one side just to refresh the palette and show you what I got. Or 50p each from them. So we'll start with this Paul, is it Giamotti? Gigimotti thingy? From the, the Planet of the Apes, the crap Tim Burton movie, but a pretty decent figure, not very well articulated. And that leg just, I don't know why, the, why they would put that kind of a joint there, that just looks ridiculous. But uh, anyway, that's him, he's a pretty cool figure. Uh, there was this thingy Randar who. I've got this guy's uh, spaceship off Ivan, so thanks Ivan, I've now got the dude that goes in there. And I really like these kind of quilted kind of costume looking thing, very like the shocker. So that's always a nice feature to have. We have this, I believe this is the um, Superpowers uh, 1980 odd version of Robin, and very nice little green shoes. Another David Jones, because my memory's crap, and uh, I've picked one thing, and oh, Luke, I love that. <laughs> it's, it's the exact same one. So, obviously, we have multiple sort of squid esque ness going on. And there was this Sergeant, uh, I can't think what his name is, but it's Sergeant somebody or other, from the Rambo. Rambo fights the forces of freedom toy line. So he was in there, that's a nice, cool retro find. There was a few nice retro finds. Uh, John Connor. So this is when he was an emo. Gonna get, oh, God. Ugh. I don't want to go home. And we have Lewis Tully. And he's rather fetching, nearly said orange. Yellow. Ghostbusters suit. I think this is the one that changes colour. As if he's been slimed. So that's nice. And action force! I want to get the bad guy version of this, who has the same head. But uh, there you go, that's, that's him. Another action force dude, 50p for him. Absolutely, I mean, well, all these are 50 pence, but uh, action force for 50 pence, I'll take that all day, every day of the week. And then a more modern figure. This is one of the AIM agents. I believe that's Marvel. What did you call him again? Marvel. Not Marvel Legends, Marvel Universe. And Ben 10, this is the, the Flasher. <laughs> with his, with his uh, crunch, trench coat? Trench coat. <laughs> it's a trench coat for when you're in a trench. Now then, is he, a, he is familiar with Avatar, the cartoon. Because if you are, you'll recognise this guy. And it's one of the Flame Guards, or whatever you call them. And... Uh, I've tried to pick this guy up off eBay a few times and he tends to sell for, uh, you know, I wouldn't say millions of quid, but more quids than I want to pay. So to see him in there, I was absolutely over the moon. Loads of stuff here, by the way. So I hope, I hope you haven't got, like, you know, 
but we haven't got anywhere to go or be. And then here is uh, Apex from the Aliens line. Uh, no accessories with them, but figured he would. Balls, balls, balls. Footy, footy, footy. Right. Quickly now, because that used up all of my time I've got. And as he explains that, he uses even more. Here is the uh, Sheriff of Nottingham. I'm going to cut your heart out with a spoon. From Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Here's Robin Hood being the Prince of Thieves. Uh, this guy's a swap, by the way, so anybody wants this guy, just let me know. And I shall stick Kevin Costner into your, into your box for you. And then we have this Robin. There he's going, playing paper rock scissors. That's great. How long is his arm? Look at that. Whoosh. That's the ninja, Robin. And finally, the last thing that I got, which was in the fantastic shoebox of amazingness. Uh, I don't think that was actually what it was called, but that's certainly what I was calling it. As I was running away, having only <laughs> given them eight pounds for all of the sexy stuff in front of you, was Brave Star! Boom, 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 boom. And I was running faster than a cheetah, or a puma, although I never quite understood why it wasn't a cheetah, but anyway. So, there you go. That is my Time Mouth haul. The only other stuff I got was when I got to Newcastle and I checked Wilkinson's out to see if they had any of the Iron Man Legends, and they didn't, but they did have the Iron Man 3 kind of really crap builder things and these were two pounds and 25 pence each so I kind of thought I'm not gonna buy them uh, left them on the shelf walked away had a thought about it went back and I thought you know I, I kind of want to do a little video on these guys so another thing that if I get round to doing I shall show you I'll catch you all later on Henry Wick. Mm -hmm. Sounds like Henry and Vinnie Wick.